Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the weapons from Europa. Now, we're going to be looking at a bunch of other weapons uh, in this week, mostly because I either have a few of them or because I'm really excited to see some of them. And we're doing also doing the Iron Banner run just because, I mean, I want to talk about it, honestly. So the first weapon we're going to be looking at is Biting Winds, which is a kinetic bow with the Precision Frame family. And honestly, the perks on this is pretty awesome. Also, we got a lot of new perks this season. So if you see a new, a new perk that you don't understand, I'm going to have it right there next to it like I did last season. So don't worry. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, surplus. I'm not going to tell you what it is. So let's look at the first row. Killing Wind, no distractions, moving target, rapid hit, quick draw, and surplus for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be unrelenting, sympathetic arsenal, swashbuckler, range finder, explosive head, and snapshot sights. So let's look at the first one real quick. Surplus. Increase handling, reload speed, and stability for each charged ability. So essentially what it is, is your melee, your class sight ability, and your grenade all contribute to your reload speed. Not saying that if you have none, it goes extremely slow. It does go kind of slow. But if you have all your abilities up, then your, abil your, your reload, your base reload is super fucking fast. Now, if we had something like surplus with outlaw, that probably would cap it out to a point where it would kind of be useless, but I would I would love to see it scale so hard that you see your character's reload speed go super fast, like stupidly fast. I would love that. But let's look at some of the perks that I would run for PVP and PVE. So P and actually a new uh, slot, which is like high-end PVE as in like Master Nightfalls and whatnot. So. I'm going to be adding those as well just because they do really change up the game. The meta is really different in high end. So for me, if I'm doing just regular PvE, I would most likely be going for like surplus. Uh, pretty much anything except no distractions and moving target. Moving target I really don't think has any value in PvE. PvP, yes, but not PvE. But if you were to ask me like which one would I love to have and benefit the most from? Probably Killing Wind or Surplus. I think Surplus being the one that... I'd really like to use a lot, mostly because I'm really not careful, but I'm stingy with my abilities. I don't like to just use them willy nilly. So I would have this up almost all the time. Uh, killing one's also amazing because obviously with each kill, you get a increased mobility, weapon range and handling for a short duration. And with a bow, that's pretty fucking crazy. And rapid hit for me, I just don't see the value in for a bow. And quick draw, like I said, if it's PvP, yes, but PvE, not really, and whatever, honestly. And then for the second row, uh, Unrelenting, I just don't think is good enough for me to actually warrant me actually going for it. Uh, Sympathetic Arsenal, I can see it being used in PvE and PvP. Personally, I probably wouldn't use Sympathetic Arsenal, even though I have Killing Wind and Sympathetic Arsenal, I think. Uh, Swashbuckler is probably the one that I will go for. Range Finder is also another one I would probably go for. And then explosive head would be something for a later build and snapshot size i don't see the value in either so for me for regular pve it'd probably be surplus with killing wind and then swashbuckler or rangefinder for pvp it doesn't really change that much honestly it would probably like surplus killing wind uh quick draw or rap moving target rapid hit i can see i can see someone argue that because it does give you an increase in stability but me personally I don't really need that, so I wouldn't run Rapid Hit. Not saying Rapid Hit is garbage. I would use it in other weapons, just not on a bow. For the second row, I would probably just stick with Swashbuckler and Rangefinder, honestly. Sympathetic Arsenal, I can see people uh, telling me that's a good one because reloading stowed weapons is good. Although, granted, you'd probably only be reloading your shotgun most of the time or your sniper, whatever you have in your secondary. So for me, it's just kind of like, do you value that? And some people would. So again, for PVP, I would say surplus, quick draw, uh, rapid hit. If you want that increase in stability, if you're a control, if you're a controller player, uh, moving target as well. If you're a controller player, you just like the extra stickiness and then killing wind for the second row. It's probably going to be swashbuckler, range finder, sympathetic arsenal, and maybe explosive head for the high-end activity like Master Nightfalls and whatnot, I would literally go either Surplus, Killing Wind, 
and that's it honestly for the second row it would be it would be it would be explosive head or sympathetic arsenal but it would most likely be explosive head only because explosive head really works well with the overload like those uh those perks they really work well with explosive head because you don't have to do an extra hit because explosive head already does that extra hit for you so that would be pretty much my high-end pick so for the next weapon it's going to be hailing confusion this is a legendary pulse rifle and it is an adaptive frame also kinetic as well so this is probably one of the weapons that i'm just really not sure if i like or not but we'll get we'll get there when we get there let's look at the perks real quick outlaw slideways firmly planted pulse monitor surplus and zen moment for the first row for the second row it's going to be elemental capacitor unrelenting fully auto trigger system demolitionist wellspring and quick draw so let's look at the other new one that we just got wellspring kills with this weapon generate ability energy this energy is divided between your uncharged abilities so obviously the synergy the most synergistic thing thing you can pair with this is surplus surplus with wellspring would probably be the best thing for you just because you can keep your abilities up with wellspring and because of that you'll be able to get your reload speed higher and stability and handling so for me this is obviously a no-brainer but let's let's look at the the chain pve basic pve pvp and then high-end pve like what would it what would be my choices it would most likely be surplus and uh wellspring for pve like basic bitch pve i just it's such a good pairing obviously wellspring like if you notice that you use your grenade more than anything else then i would say demolitionist uh with surplus would be a better choice just because demolitionist does increase that grenade gain way more and you can reload your weapon when you throw your grenade so i think that's also really great but honestly that would pretty much be it i'm not even looking at the other ones because i don't really care honestly like i think pulse monitor is dog shit uh firmly planted you can give me an argument for that slideways i guess outlaw is nice but if you have surplus with either wellspring or demolitionist i just feel like this is a much more fun load to do because outlaw just get that headshot you get that reload speed i'm not saying that's not fun it's just it's very on the point or on the nose with surplus you have to pretty much manage everything and you still get an increase in that reload speed just base if you have all your abilities up your reload speed's pretty fast it's almost to outlaw level so for me out surplus like what do you prefer a headshot and then you get outlaw or surplus which is constantly almost outlaw level for me it's no brainer honestly pvp i would probably say outlaw with either elemental capacitor fully auto trigger system or wellspring yeah i don't say surplus just because in pvp i do use my abilities a lot but at the same time i would still probably use surplus like if i had a surplus and wellspring combo i'd probably use that everywhere like honestly there's like no there's no activity in the game that does not benefit from the from these two perks so honestly if you were to ask me my ultimate like god roll would be like surplus with wellspring and then at that point, if if your reload speed is really that good, you could probably skip out on some of the magazine perks. Like maybe you want ricochet rounds or something that just increases something else that's not your reload speed. At this point, you could probably do that. Like maybe you want like extended mag. I think extended mag would be great because it increases your magazine by a lot. It does bump down your reload speed, but if surplus is already making up for that, then at that point, what the fuck ever really. So yeah, honestly, <clears throat> even honestly even for like high-end pvp surplus and quick and uh wellsprings just would be pretty fucking good honestly but demolition is also a good fully auto trigger system is probably one of my personal favorites just because i hate to click 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 constantly so for me fully auto trigger system would probably be one i really pick so that's a recap for pve basic pve surplus and wellspring would be like the main one i would go for but if I couldn't get this, then my second one would probably be like Outlaw or Firmly Planted. For the second row, it would probably be Fully Auto Trigger System, Demolitionist, and Wellspring, honestly. And then 
for PvP, it'd probably be Surplus with Wellspring again. But if I didn't have that, then obviously Outlaw with Firmly Planted. I could see people argue Pulse Monitor. I could see people argue Slideways. And then if you're on, like, Controller, then you can pick Zen Moment with Elemental Capacitor for that increase in stability if you're using Void or Handling or Reload, whatever you really want. Honestly, there's just so much synergy that you can really work with this weapon. This is probably why I like this weapon, but at the same time, it just feels really weak. It feels like I'm shooting like fucking plastic, like BBs sometimes, which is why I don't really like this weapon that much. If it came with like Rampage or something, then sure, I would like it. But at the same time, it's because of Surplus and Wellspring that I just give it so much more value. So let's look at the next weapon, which is High Albedo. This is a kinetic sidearm that is in the adaptive frame and this one i don't have gameplay for it so i'll probably just put some random pvp weapon or whatever or random pvp footage so this weapon let's look at the perks real quick before i start talking about it ambitious assassin slideways threat detector surplus killing wind and fully auto trigger system for the second row it's going to be snapshot sights wellspring unrelenting demolitionist head seeker and high impact reserves so there's a lot in this weapon that i'm more surprised honestly now the first one i kind of wanted to look at was ambitious assassin with high impact reserves it would be awesome if these two paired well like maybe what's the base ammo for this 27 so if let's say it bumped it up to like 30 or no yeah 34 36 would that extra change in the magazine equate to whatever like the low round is to high impact reserves probably not but it would be awesome if it did uh slideways is okay uh, it increases your handling and stability so, so for controller players this is probably gonna be a really good one for you threat detector as well controller players you probably like this or people who honestly i probably would like this just because it's a sidearm sidearms means you're gonna be dick dick to dick next to your enemy so threat detector is probably gonna be really good uh, surplus is here too. I really like the fact that surplus is here with Wellspring, but we'll get to the second perk uh, slot later. Killing Wind is, is also in this, which is pretty strange. So like I said, Killing Wind basically increases your mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration after you get a kill. So how much of that range can you really bump up is what I want to know. And then the last but not least, fully auto trigger system is a really good one to have for a sidearm. A lot of people like that. I personally love it just because like I said, I don't like clicking all the time. And then for the second row is gonna be snapshot sights, which uh, I don't know if I like that or not. It's wellspring for the for the next row as well. Kills with this weapon generate ability and energy. That's really cool because imagine like the uptime of reload speed for this weapon. I, I'm really interested in this weapon and I can't wait to get it. Unrelenting, like I said, I just don't see the value in that. Demolitionist is a good one to have. And Headseeker, I just don't know if I like Headseeker on this or not, really. So let's, let's look at PVE. What would I use for PVE? Because this is not a weapon I own yet. So what would I be interested in? I would probably tell you Surplus with Killing Wind or Fully Auto Trader System. I like Ambitious Assassin, I like Slideways, I don't really care about Threat Detector to be quite honest, but I do like them, but personally Surplus, Killing Wind, and Fully Auto Trigger System just, I, I, I see more benefit for me than the other ones, honestly. Uh, snapshot Size, I don't see benefit, uh, Wellsprings, I do see benefit, Demolitionist, obviously I do, and then High Impact Reserves, depending on if we could... Uh, combine it with ambitious assassin i would probably go for that but i know it doesn't work just because of how the magazine works in destiny 2 so for pve i would probably pick surplus with wellspring that's probably going to be the obvious one for pretty much everything but killing wind would be the best one and fully auto trigger system would be like the one where i'd be like all right cool now i don't have to click anymore which is literally i'm lazy so i would love this uh if for the second row, it's probably going to be Demolitionist, honestly. Demolitionist or maybe High Impact Reserves. Uh, I don't I don't like Headseeker. I never have. And under anything, like I said, I just don't see about the value. In PvP, I would probably tell you Fully Auto Trigger System and Wellspring, most likely. I want to say Demolitionist, but I just see a little bit more value for Wellspring just because you do get the bump in uncharged abilities so for me i probably would do that not only that but if like let's say all your abilities are bumped 
does all three because they they are divided into three all, all three uncharged abilities does that mean all of that three charges go into that one ability that would be interesting and i would love to see that for high-end pvp i probably would never use a sidearm but if i had to i'd probably go with killing wind and demolitionist honestly uh but even then i probably would never even think about using a sidearm unless there was a good reason to the next weapon is going to be arctic haze it is an energy auto rifle and it is a rapid frame interesting okay so we're going to be looking at genesis killing wind triple tap mulligan outlaw and subsistence for the first row for the second row it's going to be unrelenting elemental capacitor proper weapon dragonfly thresh and eye of the storm so the la the second last one you probably heard what the fuck was that thresh this one actually got a new perk as well which is thresh killing combatants with this weapon generates a small amount of super energy this one's really interesting just because i really want to know how much energy you do get from it it's probably going to be like twice as much as what you gain now so basically like that one little bump of energy that you get from killing something it's probably just going to be another slot of that which is fine i think that's going to be crazy if we do or it's probably going to be like not even half of that it's probably gonna be like a quarter of what we usually get plus what we already get i don't know there's could be, there could be a lot of things but let's look at the weapons or let's look at the perks real quick for pve i would most likely be going for either killing wind triple tap that's it actually uh outlaw i don't really i don't i don't like outlaw on like really fast weapons like smgs auto rifles i really don't like them so for me personally i wouldn't use them uh subsistence i like it's just it fucks your reserve really fat like really bad don't get me wrong it the uh, subsistence did get a buff it's just that you have to use like uh, a reserve bo a mod on it like an auto rifle reserve mod on it if not you, your ammo is gonna go fucked up like immediately gone so for me killing wind and triple tap mulligan i only see the value in if i could have picked that one ability or not the ability that magazine perk that that my um ancient or reckless oracle has armor piercing so the only reason i say mulligan is because with armor piercing you can actually get mulligan to proc even if you're shooting people with it because if you guys don't know armor piercing actually goes through your enemies which means that mulligan does activate i would use that w in in combination with my my titan so that would be my titan combination but unfortunately it doesn't seem like we can get that so i probably would never use mulligan for the second row i would most likely go either vorpal weapon dragonfly or thresh depending on how good that that uh super energy is for PvP, I would most likely say Killing Wind with Thresh. Yeah, honestly, Thresh, Thresh or Elemental Capacitor, depending if you're a controller player. But me personally, Killing Wind and Thresh would probably be the one that I would use. For high-end PvP, I would use Triple Tap with Warpal Weapon, for sure. That extra damage is very noticeable. And I can already see myself using this against, like, a champion. And just getting that triple tap to proc a lot would be like amazing for me uh and that's pretty much it i'm gonna leave the other portion for another video because just because this is already almost 20 minutes long we're not even halfway there yet the other video has or this we have four more weapons to go so i'm gonna have that video up uh, probably later this today just because i don't want to have like that TikTok shit where it's like we'll, we'll wait for part two later you know fuck that so I'll probably have it literally like two hours after this video goes up so if you guys are looking forward to the other one just stay tuned to go go do something for like an hour or two and you'll see the video go up anyway let me know what you guys think about the weapon so far personally i like uh biting wind a lot i like hailing confusion more for the perks selection than anything else i like the sidearm i really hope that i like it and the auto rifle seems like i'm gonna like it with regardless just because of the perks that it has not saying the perks are amazing or anything but triple tap and vorpal really are like a staple at this point for me so i usually just go for that anyways so let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the support i really do appreciate it i do apologize that i haven't been posting but 
my my clan is basically going day one raid so i've been all this week just grinding out level and it's unfortunate because my hunter is not that high up and he was supposed to be my third character so here's hoping i can actually make it but i probably will so be safe guys you know what's happening in the world and i'll see you guys later